Hello, everybody. <laughs> Today we were doing something we've never done with all the kids. Um, we are taking them to the movies. I know it sounds kind of crazy that we've never taken them. I'm just not a movie theater person. Like I don't really enjoy sitting still for that long and just like not talking to anybody. I'll sit still all day long if I'm like having a conversation with you, but I don't enjoy going to the movies. One time I did go by myself and that was actually really resetting because I didn't have to worry about anybody else. Uh, and I just sat there and it was very truly resetting. <laughs> only thing I didn't have to talk to anybody I didn't have to do anything and I'm it made me shut off my phone but if I'm like going on a date with Lance I want to talk to him we don't get uninterrupted conversation very often so to sit in a theater and not talk to each other is not my cup of tea it has finally come we are we are taking all the kids to the movies so <laughs> it is a Sunday um, and it's an early showing at two o'clock, so I'm hoping it's not too crazy. We are finally getting out of our cold snap. We just were in like a cold snap and it was like, oh, it was barely 40 degrees. We are so ready for just not being below freezing. It is hit freezing still every night. Anyways, we're gonna head out. I think we're gonna get the kids a bite to eat. I want some like food in their bellies before they stuff it full of like sugar. <laughs> It just helps keep the crazy down. <laughs> All right, let's go head to the movies. We're here to get to get the kids some nutrition before. <laughs> <laughs> No judgment, okay? Welcome to Airport. I'm about to do that. We have four kids. Hey, can I get um, uh, five cheeseburgers? Four was with one for you. Oh my gosh, Jess. You said just worry about myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you need two of them, right? Sneak it in your backpack. No, we're going to go to your jail. Listen, do you want to go to jail? Let's look at this. Do one. you want to go back to jail? Let's look at this. <laughs> <laughs> that right there. <laughs> We would have literally spent. We, we would have spent that much on one hot dog. I know, Actually, right? Maybe $16 two. Sixteen dollars for a for a hot Let's, dog. We'll check the price and see. It was it probably eight. Lance has not been to jail, even though I do have a video. Go check this one out. It's gotten a lot of traction because of the title. <laughs> it gets thrown into the algorithm like random times. Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you guys, just cause I'm not gonna make you go watch it if you don't want to. It's an older video, it's not super well done, but basically Lance went to Mexico when I had like a six week old child and uh, left me with all the kids when yeah, Addison it, was a baby. But did you die? It was, <laughs> I did not die. It was a paid vacation through his work. So there was like no reason for him not to go. It was good on a plane. But when I went to go pick him up, Addison was in her car seat and I put a sign on her car seat that said, welcome back from prison. <laughs> it was it was making so many people laugh in the airport. Like everyone knew. There was there were some people that walked by me like <laughs> but Overall, it was hilarious. He had like a whole bunch of people from like the Napa group. Anyway, it was hilarious. Okay, we're gonna eat some food and head to the theater. Watch the movie, then the game. Yeah. We're out of time Because the movie doesn't start till two of five. What if they check it and I do go to jail? I'm gonna get kicked out of the theater. Are you even allowed to be on this property? Did you go to jail yet? Nothing, I did nothing, okay? Yes, you're I'm done. The jail. You're done. It's as big as you are. <laughs> We're trying to theater on a budget. So we were like, oh, we'll get three large drinks to share. Like the girls can share, the boys can share, and then me and Lance can share. Look how big these sodas are. <laughs> They're gigantic. We got two large popcorns. The lady was so sweet that checked us out. She gave us like the nacho containers to be able to spread it out between like all the kids. So nice of her. She knew. She knew. <laughs> it was $97 for popcorn. Two large popcorns, two large sodas, and then the tickets. So. So, That's like and subscribe. 
I had to go back to work. <laughs> totally worth it though. It's a fun family adventure. We don't do this, like I said, we've never taken all of them. <laughs> there was just a movie getting done. I think it's a, it's like a shared theater and I think Bad Guys was just getting done. So we're just waiting out here for a minute and then we'll go in and grab our seats. Lighting in here. Watch this move. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> did, you, did the stretch move on you? It worked. Look what happened. There's two kids over there. <laughs> Your stretch move. <laughs> it multiplied. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, you getting sucked up? She getting sucked up. You getting sucked up? <laughs> oh, no. They had a good time. I don't regret it. I know it's a lot of money, but every once in a while we're gonna have to make that happen because it's just, it brings back so many flashbacks of when I was younger. We used to go to the movies all the time. At least I did with my friends. It's more expensive now, that's all. It is so expensive, yeah. I do wanna go try the Nitro Pepsi. I heard it's kind of like, meh, okay, but I love the marking of all of it, so I still don't have that air conditioning, so. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Hey, hey, Johnny, oh. let's not. <laughs> What'd you do there? <laughs> what? Yeah. What are you trying to do? Uh, you trying to get up? That's what you were trying to get off. Like this? Hey, hey, Johnny, you're too old for this. I don't know. I might get stuck. Mom's oh, big chungus. No, it's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> what if I get stuck? Do we have to call the firemen? No. Yeah, we will. I'm going in. <laughs> Just 
just got home, as you saw, we were getting the grill going to make some burgers. I didn't realize it's seven o'clock. This Alaska light totally throws me off. I thought it was like 5.30 and we still had time to like play outside. No, we have to like eat. The kids gotta get in bed. I am volunteering at the kids' school tomorrow because they have like an outside day tomorrow. Uh, so it's kind of busy, but we're gonna grill up some burgers, have some dinner. What a fantastic day. It's been such a good like just, just good old family day. It is quite chilly. It's like <laughs> 44 degrees with wind. I, with wind. It's chilly. I wanted to do a fire tonight, another fire pit, Um, but. But I can see our breath. Yeah, you can actually see our breath right now. It's cold. So about two weeks ago, Landon came home and he was like, I need cookies for school tomorrow. And by the time he had told me, it was like almost their bedtime. So I could not call the school and ask. So I ended up making cookies really late at night. Well, I jumped on Instagram Live, as always. If you don't follow me, go follow me here. Um, jumped on Instagram Live and made these cookies with you guys. And I was like, I'm not even sure if he really needs them or not. <laughs> because I hadn't heard anything from the teachers, but I just went ahead and made them. I made 60 cookies and come to find out they were not, he did not need to bring them until actually tomorrow, which is two weeks after I made those. So I called the school the next day and was like, he brought cookies, but just eat them because <laughs> they're not gonna be good. And they were homemade cookies. And I, I totally plan on remaking them but today just got away and it's 7.30 already. The kids are normally getting ready for bed about now, but we haven't even eaten dinner. Anyways, I swung into Safeway and I'm bringing store bought. I let him pick out the cookies. They're the M&M ones. And all I have to bring are buns and some chips. So we have three different grades in the school. <laughs> the kids are super excited. It is the last week of school. <sighs> I am so grateful. I still need to get their teacher gifts. Um, I probably should have done it during teacher appreciation week, but I was like, they're probably getting bombarded. I'll just wait and give it to them at the end of the year, which was just a couple weeks later. But anyways, that's the last thing I have to do for school is to get teacher gifts. And I have part of some, one of his teacher loves sloths and she just had a baby and I found a little sloth baby robe and it's so cute. <laughs> So excited um, that was part of it I'm just gonna keep it easy and do gift cards I feel like that's the most useful for them because then they can go spend it on their families or spend it on they want what what they want I'm gonna do a nice card and tell them how grateful I am for them I've heard gift cards are kind of the best thing to do but I do have what Lance called fart fuel in the last vlog <laughs> it was the Costco one I'm gonna throw it up here but uh, he grabbed the box of beans and called it fart fuel. So <laughs> anyways, I got some baked beans going and we're just doing burgers. We're keeping it very simple tonight, but we're going to get some kids fed and in bed soon. So when we were at Safeway, I found this. They had a burger fixings. It is lettuce, tomato, and onion. How perfect for this time of year. We're actually going to use it to make some BLTs tomorrow too. It was only $6.99, which I don't even think I could buy all those vegetables for that price. Not in Alaska. We got done with dinner and the kids are in bed now. We have got to pull our tarp off of our camper. Lance has been working on it, but it takes two people to pull the tarps. There's like two tarps on it, just to keep from all the snow melting and leaking through any seams that aren't fully seated, which I'm pretty sure it's, it is. He's actually going to redo the roof this summer, I believe, and just make sure it's like all fully sealed up. That's one of the major problems with motorhomes and campers here in Alaska, is that a lot of weight from all the snow sits on them all winter long, and then those seals get broken loose, and then, People don't reseal them and then water gets in the walls and it gets moldy and damaged. He did get the heater going. Um, he has to reseat the toilet. There was an issue with the toilet last summer when we took it. And so he's got to do something with that. It was fresh water that was leaking. <laughs> but we 
weren't really sure last summer, to be honest. <laughs> but he's gonna get that fixed. Then we have to flush out the whole system. So in Alaska, you use, I think it's like an RV antifreeze. Um, basically keeps from all of your pipes from freezing and blowing or things cracking. So we have to obviously flush all of that out of there, run lots of water, um, get that all ready. We're hoping that the tank is okay because like I said last year, we had a lot of water issues. There was just like the smell in the water and it smelled really bad. And the longer it sat, the worse it got, which meant it was probably some type of bacteria and is really gross. <laughs> We're really hoping to go camping in a week, but let me show you what our front yard looks like. There is still snow on the ground. <laughs> Most of it's gone. There's a little bit out there and there. Um, definitely a lot right here but it is supposed to get up to 60 degrees this next week. Our first trip is just going to be like two nights and it's just to see if we have everything in the camper, kind of like the first camp of summer. Um, Landon actually has IVIG the day we're leaving. So after he's done with IVIG, we're going to head out. I know it's crazy, but the, with the way that Lance's work days off, go. That was not correct English. The days that Lance has off of work, <laughs> that was just the only way it was going to make it happen. I did not want to push Landon's IVIG back any farther than it is. I want him to stay on a pretty strict schedule. We decided to just, if he's feeling up for it, go out camping. And if not, if he's not feeling up for it, maybe we can just camp on the side of the house, sleep in the camper, do all the things, make the coffee. Um, it could still be really fun, but there's just something about being in the woods away from home that I love so much. But worst case scenario, if Landon is not feeling good, we do what we have to do and the kids will still have a blast out there. Anyways, that was really long. Let's go remove the tarp from the camper. I don't know who Ted is not, but <laughs> he is fired. <laughs> This is what the backyard looks like. So much snow still. Oh, it's hard to tell, but right here is like, I don't know, two and a half feet deep still. <laughs> Yep, we were holding the whole thing up, guys. It's us. <laughs> I can't even keep that in there. That's too far. Is this for our OnlyFans? <laughs> I want in your skin. <laughs> that came from a TikTok that we watched, and now I always tell Lance, like, I want in his skin when I want to snuggle him. <laughs> it sounds really creepy. Well, maybe you don't put that in there. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to tell you guys, but that Pepsi Nitro had 62 grams of sugar. Uh, hello? <laughs> I didn't realize that when I grabbed it, and it was already like 5 o'clock. First of all, I don't even know, I don't even think I'll drink all of that just because the amount of sugar that's in it. I really just want to try it. I'll have to try it maybe tomorrow or something. You're supposed to pour it into a glass too. So anyways, I'll probably try that tomorrow. Probably, maybe I'll share it on Instagram, like my thoughts on it. All right, I am going to end this one. Thank you guys for coming along on our little family adventure today. I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do because it was kind of like what we were doing as a family and I don't normally share a lot of that, but I figured this would be like a fun vlog for the kids to watch and look back on. I'm excited to get the camper going, just get it finished off, get it ready, and oh, I'm so excited for all of our summer adventures that we have coming. If you want to follow along, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the like button as well because that does help out my channel. All right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!